वेलकम टू द रन टाइम एरर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ईजिएस्ट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द लीड कोड दैट इज द मर्स टू सॉर्टेड लिस्ट सो बिफोर डाइविंग टू द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डज द प्रॉब्लम इट्स अब सेज दैट वॉट दे हैव गिवन एस दे हैव गिवन एस अ टू लिस्ट ऑफ अ नेम कॉल्ड एज द लिस्ट वन एंड द लिस्ट टू एंड वॉट वी नीड टू डू इज we need to merge these two lists such that the resulting answer must also be present inside the sorted list the question also says that the, whatever the two list given to us that is the list 1 and the list 2 are already in sorted see the two sorted linked list and at the same time when we merge the list 1 and the list 2 the final answer must also be the sorted one i hope so you got the meaning of the question let's have one example say for example i have my list 1 as 2 3 and 4 and my list 2 as 1 3 and 4 then my final answer should be as 1 2 3 3 4 and 4 you can see this this array is also the sorted one this uh, sorry this list is also the sorted one this list is also the sorted one and the final list which we have created is also the sorted one i hope so you understand the meaning of question now let's check what are the possible ways to solve this question as i told you earlier that whenever we come across any kind of question the first thing that comes in our mind is always a brute force solution so we will be going through the brute force solution so what will be our brute force so let's take one more example say for example i have the one i have two i have four and the second list has 2 3 and 4 okay the the brute force solution that comes in our mind looking to this problem would be what i would say is uh, hey i will calculate the size of this list which is 3 again i will calculate the size of second list which is 3 and what i will do is i will simply create an array of size 6 which is 3 plus 3 uh, these three elements and these three elements and what i will do is i will take all the el- elements of list first and the all the elements of list second inside my single array and what i will do is i will simply sort my array and again start putting those element inside the list let's take example say for example i have creating the vector you can create a list in collection in java as well so say for example i am calling it as arr so whose size will be the 3 plus 3 that is of this and this Now what I will do is I will simply take one more pointer. As I told you in the previous lecture, the traversal of the list, how we traverse to the linked list. In order to know more about traversal, you can watch that video. I will put the link of that video in my description box. So what we will do is we will be keeping one extra pointer. Say for example, called as temp. So temp will be pointing at this location. So uh, let's have a temp. So temp will be pointing at this location. And now what I will do is I will simply traverse to my first list. till my temp does not become a null what i need to do is simply push simply push what we need to do is simply push element of temp of value and what we need to do is i need simply need to move the temp in my further location so i hope so you know the traversing technique so this in this way what i'm doing here is i'm pushing all the elements of first list inside my array in a similar fashion what we need to do is we need to push all the elements of my second list as well so what i will do is again i will be keeping one extra pointer over here that is pointing at this location and again what i will do is i will simply traverse till my say for example temp 2 does not becomes null you can you can also declare in this fashion as well because it it's <coughs> itself says that this until unless my temp is not null it will go on doing it and in similar way the meaning of both the things are also the same so what i will do is again i'm going to push the elements of the second list inside my array that is my temp of 2 equals to value and i'm simply going to take my temp 2 to, to my next position that is temp of 2 equals to next so i hope so now what we did is here what we did is here we constructed the array of size 6 say for example 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so what we did is first we took all the element from the list 1 inside my array that is 1 2 and 4 now what we did is we took all the elements of the second list inside my array that is called as a 2 3 and 
now what we will do is we will simply sort this array we will simply sort this array so my final answer would be what would be my final answer so it will lead to as as 1 2 2 3 4 and 4 so this we can see that this is the sorted list sorted array so what we need to do is now we can simply put one by one element inside my list so that i can get my final answer that is my sorted list but the point is am i able to move all the elements of this array inside this list no because what i need to do is i need to create a such a list which contains a single one i don't need a two separate list i need a single list which contains all the sorted elements of both the list so what we need to do is we need to create a new list so what we will do is we already got the array as 1 2 2 3 4 and 4 now what we will do is while traversing this through array while traversing this through array we will create every single new node every single new node for every single element every single element say for example i'm at 1 i will create one node say for example i'm at 2 i will create one more node at 2 i will create one more node at 3 i will create one more node at 4 we'll create one more node at 4 we'll create one more node and at the same time i'll attach this so that i can get a single list which is sorted answer i hope so you got me what i'm trying to say so let's let's try to implement so what i'm doing is i'm starting from zeroth index as we know the array always start from zero so i will use a for loop from till to what i need to do is till say for example five this is just that is the size of my array so at the same time what i will do is i will be creating the node as i told you how to create the node i will be calling it as a simple node so node and what i will do is new node and what will be the value of that node the value that which is present at the index the current index of my array which is one right now so I can i say can i say air of i can i say air of i yes this way we have created a list now as i told you that in order to create the list we should know the starting point of my list so that i can fetch the data whenever i need it so again what we need to do is i have told you that we need to keep one separate pointer which we will be calling it as a head so what i will do is i will be creating the separate pointer called as a head which is initially at null what does it mean is my initially my list is empty what is the meaning of this my initially my list is empty because the head itself pointing to the null which means my list does not contains any single element at the same time i will be point keeping one more pointer that is tail pointer now i will tell you why do we need a tail pointer so tail pointer t a i l it will also be pointing to the null so why we have declared the tail pointer we will tell once you start implementing this okay so we have created a one node say for example i'm writing over here we have created the one node which is here at null say for example its address is 10 i have created the head head is holding as a 10 and it will be pointing to this location and my first value is 1 so how this is created we have created with the help of this now what we need to do is again we need to check if my head is null which means which means my I, my list my list is empty then what i need to do is i need to assign the value of my node to head that is this one that is this one this is the my node and this is my head so what i'm trying to do is the value of my node is 10 so simply i'm assigning to my head i hope so you got this one now say for example i come over here i come over here now i need to create one more node okay i have created the one more node i have created the one more node this one okay now i need to point i need to point this location to this location so how will i point this is the reason why i'm trying to give one extra pointer that is called as a tail now since my head is pointing at this location my tail will also point to this location as well so that so that whenever i need to attach the next node to my previous node i will simply make use of tail rather than using the head rather than using the head why because i know that i should not change the position of my head so that i can return my list from the starting position rather than returning my list from in between or at the end i need to return from the starting position so i use a tail so that even if my position of tail changes i don't care because still i have one more pointer which is at present at my starting position so that i can simply return my list from my starting list i hope so you got me so again what i will do is i will as also assign the tail to the node as well that is this one 
but tail is also assigning to this node now for value of i equals to 1 that is that is this position i have created a one more node whose value is 2 assigning this is null say for example its address is 20 now what i will do is what i will do is again i will come to check is my head is equal to null no my head is not null since my head is pointing to my first node so this condition get false so i need to write else so i will write with a different color now else what will be else now i know that i don't need to change the position of my head so i will make use of tail so what i will do is tail of next tail of next equals to my node that is that is my tail is over here so tail of next will be this will be pointing to this location so what can i say is can i say can i say it will contain 20 it will contain 20 and this will point to this node now again i need to update the position of my tail as well so that from this position it will can come to this position how can i do it i can simply assign it as tail equals to node right tail equals to node so this is my program so every time we are creating the list and at the same time we are assigning it so let's check how it works let's check how it works we know that we have given a list as 1 2 3 3 4 and 4 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 initially initially my head is equal to null my head is equal to null and my tail is also equal to null right so i am present over at this index so i will create one more one node okay which is null say for example it's at this stand now i will check over here is my head is equal to null yes my head is equal to null so what i will do is i will simply assign head to my node over here that is 10 and my value is 1 right and at the same time as i told you that i need to change the position of my tail as well so here my tail equals to node so even my tail will point over here now i came to second index second index so what i will do is i will create one more node whose value is 2 which is present at null and say for example its address is 20 now what i will do as i told you earlier that the tail of next equals to node so my tail is pointing to my first node so tail of next would be this position will be pointing to this node so what will we do what will be its address it will contain it as a 20 and it will be pointing to this location and again what we need to do is again we need to change the position of tail as well so what i will do is i will simply take my tail from this position and i will put over here now we come across three now again i created one more node whose value is three and is pointing to null say for example its address is for 30 now what i will do is again i will come here and check is my head is equal to null no because my head is already pointing to one one of the particular node okay tail of next equals node my tail is over here if my tail could be over here then this node will be pointing to this and this node will be missed this is the reason why every time i am taking a tail to one position ahead so what i will do is the tail of next what is the tail of next tail of next is equal to 30 so it will be pointing to 30 and it will be pointing over here now again i'm going to take my tail to the next position that is over here now i come across the three once again so i will create one more node whose value is 3 initially is not and say for example is address is 70 now what i will do is is my head is equal to null no then tail of next is equal to node okay tail is pointing over here and tail of next this will be pointing to this so simply what i will do is so this will get pointed to 70 it gets points over here and again my tail is shifted to my next position that is over here now i come across a node called as a 4 which is initial null say for example its address is 80 now again i will check is my head is equal to null absolutely no then i will come here tail of next equals to node okay what well, tail is present over here tail of next is equal to next so what i need to do is I need to simply add the address that is 80 so that it could be pointing to this and I simply need to take my tail one position ahead. So this is done. Now we come across this port. Say for example, I'm creating here whose address is say for example a 60. Initially it's null. So what I need to do is again my head is not null because it is pointing to my first location. Now what I will do is tail of next is equal to node that is this one. So this get as a 60 so that it can be pointing to this location and my tail tail comes at last location 
And now we have finished. We have finished with Mare, which means we have also finished with our answer. Can you say, can I say, I have got the list which is in sorted order. Here we need to write is 4. Can I say, I have got the list in sorted order. That is 1, 2, 3, 3, 4 and 4. And this was the answer we were looking for. But the point is, is it a better solution we can say? Absolutely no. Because what we are doing is, we are using extra space that is for storing all the elements of my list. And what we did is, first we traversed the first list, then we traversed the second list, then we pushed all the elements inside my single vector. Isn't that a lot of time consuming? Because say for example, the size of my first list is called as M and the size of my second list is N. So what I need to do is, so this would take big of N, M time. This would take big of M time since the size of my first list is M. This would take big of N time since the size of my second list would be M. And we are using the extra space, the, the space complexity of big of M plus EN. So this would be my extra space. And again, what we are doing is, again, we are traversing and this will take it as big of M plus EN. So what would be the overall time complexity if we discuss of the brute force solution? So overall time complexity, I would say, first it will take big of m to traverse my first list, then it would take big of n to traverse my second list, then it would take big of m plus n to traverse my other list. And if we talk about the space complexity, so space complexity, it would be big of m plus n that is for storing array and at the same time what we are doing is we are also using the space for creating these as well so we will not be counting it uh, the space which we use to create the linked list because anyhow we need to create it otherwise we cannot merge all the elements in my single array single list sorry so this would be the my final time complexity but the point is can we do it something better than this because we know that with the help of the brute force my interviewer will not be happy so I need to do something better than this. Now let's come across one of the most beautiful solution that is called as the optimal solution. Optimal solution, okay. So my list first has one, two, and four. And my list second has two, three, and four, right? And I need to merge. I need to merge in my single list as 1, 2, 2, 3, 4 and 4. Now what I will do is, so this is the answer we are looking for. This is the answer we are looking for. So what we will do is, can we observe something here? We got list 1, we got list 2. Can we make use of both the list at the same time? Can we traverse to the both the list at the same time rather than traversing the list separately? Think think in terms of two pointers. So what what we will do is say for example I'm keeping one pointer over here, one pointer over here, and I'm going to check. Is it one C is smaller or two is smaller? Okay, one is smaller, so I will utilize one. I will take this pointer over here. Now again I'm check. Is this two smaller or two smaller? I can use any one of them. So I use this one. So my pointer is here, and second pointer is over here. I will check the 2 or 3. Can we utilize in this way something like, let's check. Say for example, say for example, my one pointer is over here and one pointer is over here. Say for example, it's called as a P1 and this one is we will call it as P2. Now what we will do is, 1 and 2 will compare together. Which one is smaller? 1. So I will make use of 1. Now I will shift this 1 to the next position. That is P1 will come over here. Now we will check P1 or P2, which one is smaller? Both are equal, so I can use any one of them. Say for example, I have used P1. So it will come, so P1 moved to the next location, that is over here. Now I have 2 and now I have 4. Which one is smaller? Of course 2 is smaller, so I will use the P2. And now P2 will move to the next position, over here. Now we will check. Is a 4 smaller or the 3 smaller? Of course 3 smaller, so 3 will be printed. And what I will do is, I will simply take, I will simply take p2 to the next location now we'll check is this and this which one is smaller i can use any one of them now say for example i have used the p2 i have used the p2 so it would become four, 4 now i have come out of this list but the problem is we got still one element in the my list first then what i will do is then what we will do is right we completed the list 2 but there is one still one element present in the list 1 as well 
so what we need to do is when we traverse both the list and we come out of that loop again we need to check is there any list still elements are pending still elements are pending yes so this is pending so simply what i need to do is simply i need to add that four as well now say for example here i could have the five here could have six and here could have seven now the question is my this still whole list is my present this whole list are present because from here we came out we came out but there are still four elements are pending now the question is do i need to traverse my first list do i need to traverse my first list no the point is this list is already sorted this list is already sorted i don't need to sort it once again and most interesting point that is i don't have any element in my list second to compare with this element so what do i need to compare or traverse this whole list absolutely no so what i will do is i will simply attach the address of p1 to this list so what it will happen is 4 for you 6 and 7 so this will come automatically this will come automatically i don't need to traverse this list once again i hope so what i'm trying to say is yes now let's let's try to implement it let's try to implement it uh, we will keep a different example say for example here i got 4 i got 4 i got a 6 i got 7 and i got 8 now what i will do is i will keep two pointer as i told you that that is node say for example p1 which is pointing to at least one and node p2 say for example it is pointing to the my list second that is that is this one that is p1 is pointing over here and my p2 is pointing over here now what i will do is i will keep on traversing that is while till my p1 and and p2 are not null till my p1 and p2 are not null which means i'm trying to compare the both the list at the same time okay what i will do is what i will do is i will simply compare i will simply compare if my value of p1 is less than or equal to value of p2 then i need to consider what i need to consider this note can i say i need to consider this note okay now the point is if i go on doing same way what i need to do is again i need to create nodes for every single node element if i come across one i need to create a node for this if i come across the node i need to create a node for this one so instead of doing this what i will do is first i will create one dummy node one dummy node that is this one say for example its value is minus one it's null and it's say for example address is 100 and it is pointing say for example head and again i will keep one more extra pointer say for example imp since i told you we cannot change the position of the head so that we can return our list from the starting position so why i created one dummy node so that whenever i come across any kind of node rather than creating the new node we will use the same node itself so we will save our space i hope so you got me i have created one node so that i can put the address over here of a next node which i am trying to get rather than creating the new node for one or two let's see over here so what i will do is my value of p1 is less than p2 or else then what i need to do is i need to simply what i got a variable called as temp so what i will do is temp of next would simply be p1 that is it will be say for example uh, i write address 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 and in the address is say for example 110 140 and 180 so these are my addresses these are my addresses so what i will it, it shows that temp of next is equal to p1 which means which means here we will be having as a 10 that is this list directly has come over here this list has directly come over here and as i told you that now i move, need to move this p1 to the next location so what i will do is p1 is equal to p1 of next right and at the same time i need to move this i need to move this temp as well to its next node to this next node so that it becomes easier to modify my upcoming node so again what i will do is i will simply take temp is equal to temp of next now what is my temp of next is 10 what is my temp of next is 10 10 is the address of this node so 10 will so temp will be pointing to this location can i say temp will be pointing to this location yes so temp will come over here so this is for first value it says that my first value is greater 
or else what i will do is else i will write it with different color else what i need to it means my value present at my second list is smaller so again what i will do is i will write temp of next equals to p2 and again i need to move the p2 to its next value so that p2 equals to p2 times next and also i need to operate my temp as well that is temp of next so what will happen over here now i am at present at here so p1 is here and p2 is here is 2 or 3 which one is smaller of course 2 so i created the list which is 2 i come here temp of next is equal to p1 the temp of next is will be pointing to this one so this will point to this and p1 will move to the next location that is p1 is present over here so it will come to the next position that is to the 4 and also i am trying to change also i am trying to change my temp variable so temp will come from this location to this position i hope so you got me now i got 3 now i got 3 and i got 4 which one is smaller my 3 is smaller so i will come over here so i will come over here i will come over here now temp of next that is this one will be p p2 that is 140 so it will contain as 3 now p2 will move to the next position that is from this position it will come over here that is p2 and also my temp will change my temp will change from this position from this position to this position right this is my temp now again i have the values as 4 i have the value as 4 i have the 4 which which one i can take i will take this one i will take this one so again what i will do is uh, no sorry since we have mentioned as equal to sign so this position will come out so we will get it as a 4 now again as i told you that my temp will come over here and my p1 will be shifted to my next position that is p1 over here now i got 6 i got 4 of course 4 is smaller so again i got 4 my temp got updated over here and my p2 and my p2 has done with my second list has done with my second list but the point is there are still three elements present in my first list but there are still my three elements present in my this first list so what we will do is whenever we come out of this loop whenever we come out of this loop there might be possibility that either p1 is remaining or either p2 is remaining right so we will check for both if if my p1 is not equal to null it means my elements in my first list are still pending then what i will do is i will simply add is temp of next equals to p1 because my temp will be pointing at my this location so i need to point over here so my temp of next will be my p1 and the point is i'm not traversing through through this list is this list is already sorted so i need to simply provide the address of this node because this node is already attached to this this node is already attached to this so simply provide the address of this node and this is what i did over here and again i need to check if my p2 is equal to not null if my p2 is equal to not null then simply what i need to do is temp of next is equal to p2 now don't be afraid that not both the condition will get true every time only one condition will get true because we will come out of this loop if and only if any one of them is get false or both of them has got false so therefore either this will get executed or this will get executed or both will not get executed i hope so you got me now the point is my head is pointing to the dummy node but my list start from the node which is present at the second position so can i say i need to return can i say i need to return head of next can i say i need to return head of next so what does it mean is my head contains a dummy node whose value is minus one but the point is i don't have minus one in my list but the point is my head is pointing to the next location which contains a valid integer which is one and it is also present in my list so what is head of next so head of next is address of this node head of next is address of this node so this is the reason why we are returning the list from this position as you see what we did in a brute force solution that we created a node every single time for every single node but as you saw in our optimal solution we utilize these node itself rather than creating the new node here you can see that there is no any statement used to create a new node and this is the beauty of the optimal solution now if you talk about the time complexity what would it be so it would be the max so it would be the minimum of can i say it is would be of minimum of m comma n because the node sorry list which is smaller will come out from the loop itself 
and this will take simply big of 1 and this will take simply big of 1 so can i say can i say the time complexity would be the minimum of m comma n and if i talk about the space complexity of course it would be big of 1 because we are not creating any single new node over here i hope so you got the solution what i am trying to say now let's check a code on the lead code okay so this is the code which we have written on the lead code so as i told in the explanation part the same thing i have used over here only a thing is i have used some different variable name for your kind of information using the right variable name is really important now the question is even i have the two list and i need to return the value or the address of the new node then why use some extra pointer over here that is first and second can't i can't i use directly list one and list two over here no the point is whenever you are given any kind of data try to avoid making changes in our original data so always use some temporary variable so that you can avoid making the change in our original data whenever you go in industrial part avoid changing the original data so what i did is i took the two pointer that is first and second which will be pointing uh, we will take one example so that you can come across in a better way one two four then comes two three four so what i had did over here is my first is pointing over here say for example f my second is pointing at over here say for example s now as i told you that we need to create a one dummy node that is over here so what i did is i simply created a dummy node whose value is minus one initial is none and head is pointing to this location my head is pointing to this location uh, head is say for example is address is 20 so 20 will be pointing over here and also my answer is pointing over here say for example a now what i will do is what i'm doing over here is let's see i'm checking my first and second both are not null yes both are not null so what i will check my first of value my first of value is less than my this value right so what i will do is answer of next is equal to first so answer of next that is this part will be the using my this that is first so first is pointing my first node so it will create my first node say for example is 80 90 100 and its address is 60 uh, 60 40 30 so here it comes this condition gets true answer of next equals to first that is answer is present over here is equal to first that is one and say for it's null and what is value or address 80 right so my answer again shifted to its next position that is from this to this position and also my first is shifted from this position to the next position and again we will come to first and second okay both are not null then we will check which one is smaller since we use the equals to sign so this will consider so answer of next will be my first again as you saw here so it will come as 2 it's answer of next that is 90 will be pointing over here right and again my answer is separate to the next position that will come over here and also my first is separate to the next location that is present over here first sorry now again we will come at we got four we got two which one is smaller of course two is smaller so this condition will get executed so answer of next is equal to second so second is my two itself whose address is 60 so it will come as 60 and again my answer will be shifted to this position and also at my second will be shifted to my next position that is over here now i got both the pointers are still not null because my first is pointing to my last node and still i got three so which one is smaller of course three is smaller so answer of next is equal to second that is called as three whose address is 40 so it will contain 40 and it will be pointing to this and again my answer will be shifted to next position my second will be shifted to my next position that is this now i got four now i got four both are not null this condition gets satisfied now this condition will get true since we are using the equals to sign so we'll be using this four this four that is the four present at my first list so it will be four whose address is 100 and again my answer will be shifted to the next part that is over here and the point is my first will come out from my list okay now now we come over here is the first is not null no first itself is null so this whole condition gets false the reason is we are using the and we are using the and so once this condition gets false no need to check this condition because one false itself says that my whole condition is false so i will come out of this loop now here i will check is my first is not null 
is my first is my not null no my first is not null because null my first is pointing to this node which is doesn't exist so this condition get false now check is my second is not null is my second is not null absolutely yes my second is not null because still it is pointing to my last node so simply what we will do is answer of next is equal to second that's still my answer is my pointing to the last node so answer of next is equal to second that is 4 and what it will be it will simply contains address is 30 right address 30 and again my answer will be shifted to its next position over here now you can see that we have got the sorted list we have got the sorted list now here we i have i will tell you here i will tell you one catch here i will tell you one catch since we have created the dummy node since we have created this dummy node but what i am doing is i am returning the head of next i am returning the head of next my head contains minus one which is not part of my answer but head of next is 80 which is this part and it is a part of my answer so i'm trying to return my list from this position that is from this position i hope so you understand the solution part and whole example clearly to know more about such coding questions and all the interview related tricks do subscribe the runtime channel till then have a happy coding